Hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Tamara, and I am here to read the Icky Bug Alphabet Book. And who can tell me what this is the book? The front. And this is the back. And this is the spine. And who draws the cool pictures? The illustrator. And who writes the words in the book? The author. And what is this in the book? The title. This is the Icky Bug Alphabet Book. And this week we're talking about bugs, all kinds of bugs. A is for alphabet book. A is also for ant. Go look at there. Ant. Ants are hard workers. Ants are able to carry things that are larger and heavier than they are. They always seem to be trying to build something. What are they carrying? Leaves. What do you think they're trying to build? B is for bumblebee because the bumblebee is furry. It is able to stay outside in cooler weather than other types of bees. Bumblebees fly from flower to flower collecting nectar to make honey. C is for cricket. The cricket likes to hide under things. It makes noise by rubbing its wings together. Isn't it fun to listen to lots of crickets at night? Oh, Miss Timmy likes to have her windows open in the springtime and listen to all the bugs outside. D is for dragonfly. The dragonfly has four wings. When dragonflies stop flying, they can take a rest. They are unable to fold their wings back. E is for earwig. No one seems to know how the earwig got his name. It does not crawl into people's ears. It has a pincher at the tail end of its body. Well, that looks like a creepy thing. Now, I had no idea what they were called, but I've seen them before. You see the, let's count the wings. One, two, three, and four. And that one was called, do you remember? A dragonfly. Ooh, what are these called? Do you know? Do y'all see them sometimes at nighttime at, at your house? They're called fireflies is what I, well, that's what they're calling it here too. Lightning bugs is sometimes, people call them. It says F is for firefly. Fireflies shine like light bulbs in the dark. When they light up, they can find each other more easily. Fireflies are easy to catch because they fly so slowly. G is for grasshopper. Grasshopper can jump really well. If you try to catch one, it will usually jump away just as you're about to touch it. Do y'all see that? Do y'all catch grasshoppers outside or fireflies or lightning bugs? H is for, ooh, do y'all know what this is? It's a horsefly, and they sting. They hurt. The green-headed horsefly has pretty eyes, but it has a terrible bite. If one of them lands on you, be careful. Yikes. Push it away. I is for Eye moth. The eye moth has two spots on the lower wings that look like eyes. When birds go near these moths and see the spots, they become startled and fly away. Do they look like eyes to you? J is for Japanese beetle. Those beetles love to eat flowers. Sometimes they eat so much they ha they cause lots of damage to plants. And K is for Katie did. Katie did's like crickets make noise by rubbing their wings together. The noise they make sounds like their name. Katie did. Katie did. Katie did. Sometimes they say Katie did not. What are those? Ladybugs, and that is a monarch butterfly. L is for ladybug. The insect is really called a ladybird beetle. They are so round, it's hard to believe that they can fly, but they can. M is for monarch. The monarch butterfly is known for migrating. It flies from the north United States all the way to Mexico, and birds know that monarchs taste awful, so they never go near them. Did not know that. N is for no seums. No seums is a word for tiny insects that are almost impossible to see. They are flies that are really called midges. They can make people miserable because they bite. O is for orb weaver. 
Spiders that make round orb shapes, webs, are called orb weavers. Many people are frightened by spiders, but most of them will not hurt you. Miss Tammy does not like spiders. No, don't like them. They're creepy. P is for praying. Ooh, what's this? Manis. It is called a praying manis because it looks like it is kneeling and praying. Gardeners and farmers like them because they eat pesty bugs that are harmful to vegetables and other plants. Q is for, what are these? Queen bee. In a beehive, there's only one queen bee, and she can lay thousands of eggs per day. All of the other bees in the hives take good care of the queen bee. R is for red admiral. This butterfly is not bright red like an apple or cherry. It is crusty orange color. Red admirals are very different, difficult to catch because they fly fast. S is for, ooh, what is this? Scorpion. The scorpions are really scary looking. They have two front pinchers that just like lobsters. And the end of their tails have a stinger. Would you like to be stung by a scorpion? Nah, me neither. T is for tarantula. The tarantula is a big furry spider. It can grow to be as large as your hand. Tarantulas and scorpions are found in warm climates. U is for unfinished painting on this page. The illustrator forgot to finish painting the picture. Oh, U is for unicorn beetle. Okay, that's better. Now the illustrator has finished the painting. The unicorn beetle has a single horn sticking out of its head. Do y'all see that? V is for velvet mite. These creatures are red and so small that you can hardly see them. About 30 of them could fit on the fingernail of your thumb. Ugh. See that? W is for, who knows what this is? A water spider. The spider makes its home underwater. It weaves a special web which allows it to bring air under the water. Hmm. It catches and eats things that swim or float nearby. X is for marking on the back of this bug. We could not find a bug whose name began with the letter X. This bug is called a cotton stainer. You see the X on the back of him? How cool is that? Look, see? X. X marks the spot. Y is for the yellow plant bug. The bug is very easy to see because it is bright colored. It has six legs just like all other insects. And Z is for the zillions of zebra butterflies. Zillions of them flying all at once could be a beautiful sight to see. Now that we have gone through the alphabet on this page are some wicked icky bugs. The end. All right, boys and girls, y'all have a great day, and I will see y'all later. Miss you tons. Bye.